Good evening. A standoff in Warren we brought you as breaking news at 6 o'clock has ended peacefully. A man who barricaded himself in his home saying he was going to hurt himself came out and surrendered. First News has been on the scene all night talking with the man's family and police. 27 First News weekend anchor Matt Horn picks up the story from here. He joins us live now with new information. Matt. Well, good evening. Just before 9 o'clock this evening, this five and a half hour standoff ended peacefully with police. Now behind me, the family is still cleaning up from uh, some of the broken glass after beanbags were shot from police at the man. I'll get back to that in just a minute. But earlier this afternoon, Warren police were called to this house on yeah. Southern Boulevard and Warren's northwest side. And around 430, the police said that they got a call about a domestic violence dispute with a gun being shot. Now, when police got here, they say the suspect, Tim Miller, barricaded himself inside of the house. Police called for the Mahoning Valley Task Force to come up here for help. And at one point, the man came out. Then police shot the beanbags that I was talking about at the man to stop him from hurting himself or other people. But that's when Miller went back inside of the house. Officers say that he did have a gun. Now, at the same time, officers say that after Miller turned himself in to police peacefully, he was actually taken to a local hospital because he had injuries from the beanbags that were actually shot at him. Now, Lieutenant Jeff Cole says it's likely that Miller is going to be in the hospital overnight. Now, back out here live, police say that they're going to pretty much clear out the scene here within the next, I would say, 20 minutes or so. They said they were actually going to clear it out a little bit ago, but they're still out here, as I said, helping with the cleanup. Now, also at the same time, talking about charges. Lieutenant Cole says that the police department will work with the Trumbull County Prosecutor's Office to see what charges, if any, will be filed. We should have that information for you by tomorrow. But for now, reporting live in Warren, Matt Horn, WKBN 27 First News. All right, Matt, thanks. We'll keep you updated on any developments on air through this newscast on First News at 11 and online at WKBN.com.